Hi folks, Damon here. So I wanted to do a demo today of how you can use Code Pipeline and EMR Studio to deploy notebooks to a static website. And I also want to show you how you can deploy service catalog templates from within EMR Studio. So let's get started. One of the cool things about EMR Studio is we have this support for cluster templates. So if you're going and creating a new cluster, down here you can see that you can either start up a cl uh, cluster just by putting in the name and the release and the instance types. But if you have uh, maybe some special requirements that you want to do, you can have a cluster template. So I've got a clus couple cluster templates down here. One is matplotlib, it installs matplotlib and a couple other dependencies. And then I've also got an EMR Docker one that installs Docker on a cluster. And this is just a one node cluster that spins up. It doesn't really take many parameters, but EMR 6.3 just came out recently. And I wanna give folks that are using this cluster cluster template, the ability to switch between different releases. So I've got a code commit repository out here and I've already con connected that to my EMR studio. If I go in here, I've got a CFN folder and you can see there's my Docker cluster template. So here's the cluster template that's being deployed to service catalog. If I look over here at service catalog, there's the EMR Docker cluster. If I look at the product versions, you can see there's the template and it's the same template that got deployed from that repository. So what I've done is I've set up a code pipeline and let's look at the pipelines over here. So this is my pipeline and this is my service catalog deployer. So this is a pretty uh, simple pipeline. It just connects to code commit and then it deploys to service catalog. So if I look at, um, if I actually go ahead and edit this, this is pretty straightforward. I'll edit this stage and edit that deploy. And all you do here is you specify the product ID that you want to deploy to and where that file is coming from in your code commit repository. So that is um, really, really easy to go ahead and combine code commit with code pipeline to deploy new service catalog updates. So let's see what that looks like. Let me go back to EMR Studio and I'll go in my Jupyter Lab here. And what I want to do is I want to add the ability for folks to be able to use 6.3 or 6.2. So I'll add a new parameter in here and it's gonna be the EMR release and we'll say, okay, you can go ahead and you can use 6.2 or 6.3 and let's go ahead and replace the hard-coded release label down here. So I'll go and replace that with a reference to the parameter. So you can see all this um, template is doing is just installing Docker on my cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll save this YAML file and then in my Git settings over here, you can see I've got that stage changed. So I'll go ahead and add a summary. So let's see, add EMR 6.3 to 6.3.0 to Docker cluster. Awesome. And I can go ahead and commit that. And then I can just go ahead and push that up. So that does a git push. And what we should see if I switch over to the code pipeline over here, let me refresh that pipeline. And what we should see is that pipeline should pick up that change from code commit pretty quickly here. So let me do a quick refresh and we can see that is now in progress. So the latest source revision, add EMR 6.3 to the Docker cluster, and um, that code commit check-in is there, and that's already deployed to service catalog. So let's switch back to EMR Studio, and if I go back to try to create a cluster, let me just tab over here and switch back to the cluster templates. I'll select the EMR Docker cluster, and now you can see we've got this little drop down here that has EMR 6.2 or 6.3. So now we can spin up that different cluster. So by changing that YAML file in this repository and having that run through code pipeline, we can easily keep the um, service catalog templates up to date with whatever's being used inside EMR Studio. So it's really nice having the code and infrastructure right next to each other. So that's step one. Step two, I wanna deploy some notebooks to an S3 backed website. So I have, um, let's go back up here and inside my data team notebooks, I've got this site folder. So this is an MK docs site. If you're familiar with MK docs, it's a really nice documentation site. Very simple, very straightforward. All you do, you just kind of edit this YAML file and say, here's my site name, here's the theme and you put your nav in there. So it's all kind of configured in this, um, in this MK docs YAML file. There's a lot of plugins for MK docs and one of those plugins is MK notebooks. So all you need to do is you just add a link to a notebook inside there, and that'll show up on your static website. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead into docs, into notebooks, and let's make a new notebook in here. We'll do a Python 3 notebook, and we're just gonna say, this is my awesome notebook. We'll go ahead and we'll 
Uh, we'll execute that. I'm just gonna use um, some sample data. Plotly comes pre-installed on EMR Studio. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, pull in some, uh, some sample data from Plotly, and then let's go ahead and make a figure. So I'll take that and we'll make that figure in there. And now we've got this really pretty chart in there of some wind data. So what I wanna do, I wanna save that notebook and I'm just gonna rename it too. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's say uh, Plotly, we'll call it wind.ipynb. And then let's go back to mkdocs here and we'll say wind analysis. And we'll say notebooks wind.ipynb. And that's all we have to do. We add that notebook to our repository we add it to the nav, and now when I save this and add it to the code commit repository, that'll trigger another pipeline that's going to build this and deploy it to S3. So let me go ahead, I'll make this commit really quickly. And so there's the MK docs change, and I need to add my wind file as well. So there's my two stage change changes. And I'll say add our awesome wind notebook. And I'll hit commit. And so that committed the changes, that's going to push it back up. So I already have a website that's deployed based on this, like I said. So this is uh, on CloudFront. It's got my awesome notebooks. It's already got one notebook in there that's got my URA sleep analysis. But now what's going to happen is if I go back to code pipeline, so uh, that's my other pipeline there. So I've got this pipeline here that deploys my website. And you can see it's already pulled in that change from code commit. And if I click through to that pipeline, what we can see is it's starting that build process. And if I go into that build process, what we can see is um, it's still in process. These are the different phases of the build. So you can see it's going through and doing all these different phases. Um, let's go and look at that build history real quick. So you can see here's all the different builds that it's done in the past. It takes about you know a minute to um, go and pull that code and uh, do a build and deploy the site. So let's look at the pipeline that's going to do this. And so that's still in progress. And it's a pretty simple pipeline. Again, it's just pulling from source commit. It's going to um, extract those files and run that uh, process to go ahead and build it. And back in um, EMR Studio here, that process is defined inside the repository as well. So I've got this build spec YAML. This is the uh, code, code build uh, specification file. And you can see all this does, it just does a you know, upgrade of pip, installs the site requirements, and then it does an mkdocs build and pushes that out to S3. So back in our code pipeline, that build just succeeded. That just got pushed out to S3. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my CloudFront site and I'm gonna see if we have some awesome new notebooks out there. So here's my site, I'll do a quick refresh and let's see, now we've got our wind analysis out here. So I can click on that. This is my awesome notebook. I've got the chart in there and there we go. There's an end to end way of taking your code that's inside of EMR Studio and pushing it out to a, an S3 backed static website. So um, this was pretty fun to put together. There's a lot of different ways you can take notebooks and convert them to different formats. Uh, I found, let's see, there's NB Dev. There's this MK Notebooks plugin. Um, there is, what else is there? There's Jupa Text that does some of this stuff too. So there's a lot of different options out there. But this MK Notebooks one was integrated um, directly with MK Docs, made it super simple. And um, with a really easy code pipeline, I can now make my changes inside of EMR Studio and have those deployed to an S3 backed website uh, almost immediately, right? In under a minute. So. Uh, that's my demo for today. I had a lot of fun putting this together and I hope it's useful. So I hope you have a good one. Thanks. Bye.